What's the level of Judaism where they believe that sex is purely for procreation and they put a sheet between each other? The, the Hasidic uh, people. Yeah. I've heard they literally they, they have sex to procreate and they put a sheet in between when they have sex. and So they can't the, see each other. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be for reproducing and also... Uh, it's supposed to be to keep the mar- you're supposed to keep the marriage alive. So even if it's not in the in the Hasidic community, I've got very religious friends as well. So when a woman finishes her menstrual cycle, d- during your menstrual cycle, you're either supposed to sleep in another bed or sleep apart, where you've got like two separate beds. I've heard that, yeah. Um, and then you go to um, a spiritual bath. So after you've menstruated, so this is what we're talking about, the sheet. So you will go to these a spiritual baths. It's for women only. Um, you comb your hair, you shower to make sure there's there's nothing there. And another woman will take you into the spiritual bath where they will, you will dunk under. You know, like when you're baptised, you go under the water. It's a very similar for a Jewish woman, for a religious Jewish woman. She will have to sort of dunk herself under the ritual bath, say the prayers when she comes up, and then she is clean and pure again to be with her husband. But when you um, have gone through that process, you then come back and you are supposed to have intimate relations with your husband because that gap where you're not brings the marriage back together and alive again. But in what you're talking about with the Hasidic community, yes, there there is a sheet. But a sheet and they never have... It's for, it, it serves a purpose, yeah. 